Phase two is simply practicing your hip snap, but now instead of using your hands on a solid object, you're going to put your hands on your paddle, and you're going to put your paddle on a solid object. Now lean over to the side, and let your boat flop on top of you. Once your boat's on top of you, simply hip snap off of you. It should feel exactly like phase one. Now there's a few key elements that need to work in order for this to, to work for you. Number one, the paddle has to stay perpendicular to your boat. Number two, you need to come up in that brace position to head all the way down and back. And lastly, what do you do with your top hand? You're going to notice when you tip over, your top hand is going to rub against your boat. You do not want to pull down on your top hand. Now, if you're tipping over on the right, your top hand is your left hand. You want to make sure that your left hand is not pulling the paddle down against the boat. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time freeing the boat up for the hip snap. So lift that left hand off the boat slightly to release that pressure. You should find that the hip snap in phase two is super easy. When the hip snap does become super easy for you in phase two, you're ready to do your first roll. Now your first roll is going to be done using your phase two technique. The only difference is you're not going to have your paddle on a solid object anymore. This time your paddle is going to be right against the water. Just you, the water, and the boat. You're doing your first roll. Okay, get in that phase two position. Paddle's perpendicular to the boat, just like when you brace. Keep the paddle over the water. Now let your boat tip over, splash in the water, let your boat flop on top of you, hip snap off of you. If you keep your head down and you go back into that brace position, you should roll up just like that. If you don't roll up just like that, you've lifted your head and you didn't do a proper hip snap. Now here's a couple key elements. Number one, your paddle's no longer on a solid object, is it? Now what that means is it will sink in the water if you apply pressure on it as you're going in. So when you tip over, how do you want to tip over? Just like when you're bracing, you want to flop in fast. So don't pull down on the paddle until you've flopped in the water. Otherwise, your paddle's going to sink on you. If you keep your paddle out of the water and you, when you tip over and do a good hip snap, you're going to be up. Congratulations, you just did your first roll. Now obviously, when you tip over in a river, you're not going to be all set up and ready to go like this. So we're going to have to teach you phase three.